Welcome to TPI, the global leader in test products. And in this short video clip, we're going to show you how easy it is to add a let by tightness test to an existing job. Here you can see we have two jobs set up. One of which we set up earlier, which is called video clip. And we're going to add a let by tightness test to this job. If we hit on video clip, this will take us through and give us more of the job details. And the big green button at the bottom, which says get readings, is what we're going to use to connect through to the 608 manometer. We just need to check that the serial number on the back of the manometer ending in 022 actually matches the device that's come up on the screen and connect through and give us three options of tests. We're gonna choose, as I say, let by tightness test. We have two options here, one of which is if appliance is connected and one of which is pipe work only. Choosing pipe work only, the app in itself will calculate whether any of the readings drop outside the permissible values of 0.25 millibars whilst any of the tests are being carried out. Here you'll see the reading is around 10 millibars. And what we'll do here is we'll just set the timer away. This is gonna run for the 60 seconds. As you'll see, these readings are nice highlighted in green. However, as I mentioned, should this be letting by and then the readings fall outside, the 0.25 permissible value. It's very easy for the user engineer to see as the readings are now highlighted in red. However, we're gonna bring them back within specification to carry on with the completed test. As you can see, this test has passed and we can move on to the next part of the procedure, which is the stabilization period. Here the values are around 20 millibars and we set the timer away and it'll do a further 60 seconds. Here we can see this test is complete and we can move on to the tightness test part. Again we start the timer and this is going to run for 120 seconds. Again same as the let by test earlier, should the value drop outside of the 0.25 millibar. We'll see that clearly indicated on the screen. Here though, we're gonna complete the full test. So as you can see, these readings are back within specification. Here you can see that this part of the test has passed also. And now we can create the report by clicking on report. What you get here is a full list of the serial number, date, time. You have each of the let by stabilization and tightness tests with the start pressure, stop pressure, the differential, and the elapsed time on each part of the test. What you also get is the job ID that we set up earlier, which is video clip, as well as, and probably most importantly, we have GPS location, and again, the date and time. This reading can now be saved against the job ID we set up, video clip. We click on save and we can call this one a good tightness test. Now we're back at the job details screen. By clicking on view readings, we can go back and have a look at the good tightness test that we've just performed. Again, all of the same details will be here, including the GPS location and the date and time. It really is as easy as that. And don't forget to look out for more of these video clips either at our website, tpieurope.com or on our YouTube channel.